Okay, sorry guys, I'm going to film the intro to this again because it seems to have cut off a little bit, but I am making this video on how to use your cartridge fonts in Design Space for your Cricut machine. Cartridge fonts. Now you can always go into, you know, create a new project and um, I'm going to wait for this to open up. Sorry, it's just taking a minute. Um, and clicking on like text, right? And what happens when you go to text, this all opens up over here and you are on Cricut Sans normally. And if I want to make it a different font, you're like, oh, I'll just use the fonts that are on my cartridges. So you click on here and you have search font name and you have the Cricut, you have the system, which would be like, you know, fonts that you might have like in your Microsoft Word or just different fonts your computer has. Bookmarks if you bookmark something. But when you go back to Cricut, you have all of these that you have to pay for. Maybe you have Cricut Access, you know, fine. You would click on it and then now you can use that font to cut or write with just depending. Now, I want the ones I own. So whenever I click on filters and say purchases, it gives me like six things. And I have like a couple hundred <laughs> cartridges loaded from my machine into Cricut Design Space. So what's the issue? So the last few years I've been like looking like for videos and for someone to tell me and everyone does the same thing. Oh, highlight the text box and just add the thing. That is not exactly it. So these guys, yes, you can use them, but this is as simple as it is, guys. I'm going to show you right now. You see how this says current and the little green box is clicked and that's the default and why? I do not know. Unclick it. Oh my goodness, here are all of my fonts from the different cartridges. A Child's Year, you know, Alphalicious has this one, it has the crown tag, it has short stack, um, Anna's Fancy Lettering, and Abigail, or Carson, or Hannah, or Victoria. And again, before, I had one from Anna Griffin's uh, things, I think, and then like a couple from like a Winnie the Pooh set that I have, like a uh, Disney thing. So. I just want to show you because now let's say I want whatever black letter I'm going to click on it and I can actually cut it when before it would not let you and all because of that kerning okay so it's the simplest thing I couldn't have anybody like tell me directly with cartridges because unless you've had your machine for a long time you don't care about that right so this is for you old school people you can also go into images and look for your fonts and that's a real pain you guys I'm telling you right now let's say I want the letter M okay let's just say M and I'm gonna look for it obviously there's lots of them there's ones you can buy I already purchased this one but let's go to ownership and let's say uh, one that I purchased now you have all these letters this M and this M are from the same cartridge this one looks like this and that one looks like that because if you remember some cartridges have layers I have not figured that part out yet because on some of them it will give you the options of like the you know different layers but if it has a background that goes with this one I still don't know how to get that because if you recall on the old cartridges you had the shift so you would say like M and then shift M or whatever button that was and you would get the shadow layer or the decorative layer or whatever so that is still an issue I'm working out but at least now we can cut with our fonts and then yeah you just you know um, go back to your canvas and um, you know I just this was a test but you can and that, the other thing is you can't really size them correctly when you're just choosing them as an image because they're all going to be weird sizes. So this way I can do this and they all grow with each other. If I was choosing the other one and it was a shadow layer and this and this, and if I finally figured it out, it's a nightmare. So at least here you can size them however you want. Of course, I'm just pulling them here. You can also actually go up to size here and choose how high. I guess I would choose the height because that would make the actual difference. Um, you know, so four inches or whatever. And again, I don't know if this is real dial size or not. If it, if I want it a certain size, I just make sure, like I said, four inches, and this is roughly four inches. So, all right, well, I hope that helps somebody. Okay, guys, and then you can send it to make it and just like you do anytime and it'll cut all your fonts. Um, another quick thing I'll just show you. Let's say you have this and I'm going to, I want to offset it. I'll click on offset. And as you can see, it's thinking about it. If they're close enough together, it'll offset them together and click apply right now because they're far apart again that's what kerning has to do with how far apart your letters are um, this is kind of far apart what you could do is manipulate it before this you know let's undo this you can um, 
squeeze them closer together and I usually do that in a different way I would ungroup it and then get them close together and all that um, you can also usually play with the kerning up here but I don't know if this allows you to do that um, another thing is if you did it the way I did it right now they're all together and I did offset it'll want to cut them all at the same time that can be problematic depending on what your project is so sometimes you can ungroup them and then just do oh sorry uh, ungroup and then just do each letter offset okay apply and of course of course you guys know you can change the offset thickness and all that so like let's say that was too much offset I don't like that maybe a little bit less you know you can change your number and that one has a little bit less and all those things so now you can manipulate it and have fun with your fonts finally oh my goodness I'm telling you it was a struggle and it was just that one thing alright have a good one guys bye now